Greetings, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, my dream was right. Yes, your dreams are never fallacies. One of the warriors that came back from the forest said they saw the maidens with the staff, but she resisted them. Sad. She even vowed not to let it go. Sad. Very sad. No matter what happens, what I perceive in all this misery is victory. How do you mean, Father? The staff belongs to us. Something will happen to prove that. You talk like a soothsayer. Well, maybe I am. My good man, you have been silent. What is on your mind that you want to tell me? How did you do that I want to say something? Say what you want to say, my son. Um, father. Everything in me, every bone in my body is telling me to take this quest, Father. Something in me is telling me to go to the forest and seek for the staff. Are you really motivated considering what happened to the warriors? Father, have you forgotten I was the only person that saw it in the dream? I don't think it's all about the dream. Maybe there is something I'm supposed to do which I have not done. My son, I am short of words here. Aloji Forest is not a land that anyone dares to trade upon. No one. Nothing goes there and come back alive. But Father, remember one of the warriors came back alive. That means there is still hope. My son, you are really motivated by your intentions. Yes, father. Then make your desires known to our people. Don't worry, this food will soon be ready, huh? I know. There's something you said you wanted to tell me. Uh, yes, mother, that's, that's why I'm here. Uh, it's kind of complicated, but please, I don't want you to get too nervous. Yeah, you've been making me nervous by saying it again. What is it? Talk to me. It's about the staff of kingship. What? 
What about it? I want to journey into the forest to so seek for it. Hey! Again, do you know what you're talking about? Eh? Do you know what it means to enter a Loji evil forest? Come. Did you just decide to embark on this mission or who, who is pushing you to do this? Eh? Oh. I said it and I knew it. Your blind old friend of where? No, mother. It has nothing to do with my blind old friend. I took the decision on my own. <laughs> you took the decision on your own. Ikenna, you think I am a baby? Eh? You think you can lie to me? Don't you know how evil a Loji forest is? Nothing, nothing ever enters that forest that survives. Um, mother, this is my father's land. And a whole lot, so many negative things has been happening. This village is in jeopardy, mother. Uh -huh. Is it only your father that owns this land? The problem in this village has been there even before you were born. So, what has that got to do with you? It has something to do with me, mother. A lot. Remember, I was the only person that saw the staff in the dream. In the dream, I also saw the maiden with the staff. And finally, what happened? It came out to be true. Mother, I don't think it's all about the dream. This thing has something to do with me. I think I'm, I'm in the position to help. By going to die? Okay. You want to go and die? Or for Zeno Sosom? Hmm? Ikenna, you want to go and kill yourself? Ikenna, what did I do wrong? Eh? You want to go and die? <sighs> Mother, you have to stop thinking negative. If I die in the quest to secure the treasures of my father's land, at least I died for something. It is not you. There are families that have seven, seven sons. Some have them. Look at Mazibekwe. How many sons does he have? He has four wives, and each of them have like five, five sons. Why can't they ask this one of his sons to go and sacrifice himself? Why only you? Why you? Why you, Ikenna? Why you? Why is it you? Let me tell you, in this land, eh, if you go there and don't accomplish your mission, you will, they will not call you a hero. In this village, nobody will recognize you. You will just die like a chicken. If you will die like a fly. Now, because you, you are all I have. You can now one because you don't go. Biko. Mother, whether I complete the mission or not, taking the decision already makes me feel like a hero. You can now ask. Him. And I know my father will be proud wherever he is. <laughs> To leave me perpetual agony. Ikenna, do you know your father will be turning in pain? He'll be turning with tears to see you embark on this dangerous journey. Please, mommy, because you are all I have. Ikenna, let's see. If you leave me now, I'll be left all alone. You want to leave me, Ikenna, because you know, I have no more children in my womb. Your father is no more. He can not be cause you know. He can not want Biko. He can not want. He can not want because you know. Please, please, you want. Don't go. Don't go. Leave me here alone. Please, please, you want more. He can not want. He can not. Thinking negative. Thinking negative. Greetings, you want. Welcome, my son. You said you wanted to tell me something. Yes, Mazi. Uh, actually, it is about the staff of kingship. What about it? I want to journey into the forest to seek for it. What? To journey into a Loji forest alone? 
That is not possible, young man. That is not possible. Uh, Mazi, Ma, I know it is very risky. But I, I feel like doing it. I just can't sit back and do nothing when I have the feelings that there is something I can do about it. My father's land is in great turmoil. Please, Mazi. Ever since I saw that stab in my dream, I feel like it is my responsibility to get it back. Please, you, you have to talk to them. <coughs> you see, we have lost a number of warriors in the same quest. But if we provide more of our men to accompany you to the forest, the real question is how many more are we ready to lose? He said he needs no one to accompany him to the forest. That he will go alone. That after three days, if he don't return, let we the elders prepare a befitting funeral for him. Wow. I must admit that I appreciate Ikena's courage, his brave courage to go to this mission. We have to pray that his mission will be accomplished. That he will go and come back alive. That boy must be sent by the gods of this land. You know what? I want you to move immediately. Take him to Ozobiwe for fortification. I can't wait to see the staff of Bono. And if eventually he comes back, I will reward him. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 You are the only one I have. You are the only one. The only one I have. Please. 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 I don't want you to make me change my mind. Just let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, go. Let him be. Leave him alone. Let him go. If he feels compelled to do this historical thing, for the kingdom of Amaze, his own fatherland. Then you should let him go. Hmm? Because this young man has shown great bravery. Among all others. We are all going with him in spirit. Hmm? Whatever happens, we shall always remain indebted to him. His name shall remain indelible in the sands of time and in the annals of history of the Amaze people. Woman, let him go. Hmm? <laughs> Mother, you have to be strong. I'm doing this for my people. Please, I don't want you to make me change my Let me go. No! No! Get that one! No! Woman, let him be. You can now. You have come to the gateway. The people of Ames, the kingdom, are weights. 
you in our land come back with good news. Mm. Mm. ndimo <laughs> my son into this obviously because you don't have your own child just watch your slanderous mouth watch your slanderous tongue woman what are you talking about oh all of a sudden you have forgotten eh you're pretending you know exactly what I'm talking about you know my son confides in you a lot I know that. And you took advantage of him to lure him into his death, making him believe he's the only one that will save our land from these troubles. No. I did not lure your son. It was his personal decision. Oh, spare me that, you pathetic liar. Spare me that! I know my son. He has good upbringing. He knows his limits. He wouldn't have taken that rash decision if someone was not pushing him. And that person is you. Mana, let me warn you. You this foolish old man. Let me warn you. If anything happens to my son, if anything happens to my own Ikena, I will stop at nothing to make sure I strangle you to death. I will literally kill you. Watch your tongue, woman. Watch your tongue so you don't incur the wrath of the gods. Watch your tongue because everything has implications. Of course. I can see those negative implications written all over you. Look at you. At your age. You are blind, dirty, Childless and miserable. What other implication should anybody expect? Wicked man. Wicked man. Pray, pray to your gods. I know they open to my son. Ndi mata kwa wala. Ndi mwa pota go kwa no no wo. Che were hi che. Arobo da nugo. Ndi keji. I know this life is something I don't really understand. My cheese over, I or I know the sun will shine, the rain will wash my tears away. Helen, <laughs> 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 
Who are you and what do you seek in this land where no man treads upon? You are the same maiden I saw in my dream. Greetings to you, daughter of the forest. What brought you here? Um, I came to seek the star. Never! I made it clear to your people that I am not ready to let this staff go. I am sure you know what happened to your brothers that came here before and yet you came. Are you not afraid to die? Great daughter of the forest, I did not come here to make troubles. I came in peace. I am nobody to challenge your insurmountable powers. Please, I beg you in the name of the gods of our land, the gods of my father's land, and the gods of the forest, to please give to us the treasure of our land. Please. My father's land is in great turmoil. And without this staff, we cannot make a king. Please. I went through a lot of troubles to get this staff. It means a lot to me as well. I won't let it go. Oh, please, great daughter of the forest, my people are dying. Please, without this staff, there is nothing my people can do. I'm begging you. I'd rather die here in the forest than to go back to my people without this staff. This stuff is very important to us. Please, give it to us, please. Words might fake the truth, but eyes never lie. I see truth in your eyes, and you since you ask politely. Yes. I shall grant you your request. Thank you, great daughter of the forest. I will forever appreciate Enough! you. Enough! Get up and start going. Now, before I change my mind. Thank you so much. I will never forget you. The last time I saw you cry was when you were still a baby. If this stuff meant so much to you, why do you want to give it out? I don't know, Mother. His gentle words touched my heart and I felt compassionate to give it to him. Why are you crying? I treasure that stuff so much. And now it's gone. I'm going to miss it. Truly. But there must be a reason you were compelled to give it to him. You wipe your tears. I look towards the future. Hmm?
I name a be him more, I natural, I bone him more, I name a be him more, I name be him more, I name E bunye mo, e ai ne me, bunye mo, ndai na chura. Mburo mo. I sense something. Go into the village and find out what is happening. Hmm? Ikena, 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 Ikena,
The young man is back. Which young man? He can now? Yes, and he came with the staff. <laughs> hey! Chipoki Kabiyama! Ah! What do you mean? Umaja! What do you mean? Umana! You don't have a fire, you don't have a good sip. Ah! Mboromoa! This is wonderful, this is good news. Let me go and see things for myself. Begin now. What's the most adventurous of our ancestors could not achieve? You have achieved. <laughs> From the very moment you stepped out of Aloji Evil Forest with this priceless treasure of our fatherland, from that moment you indeed became deserving of being called great. A mission that was impossible, you made possible. That is a no mean feat. We are happy with you. And from today, the entire people of Amaze Kingdom, men, women, youths, boys and girls, will continue to reverence you for this great achievement of yours. Oh, amen. Tell me you just left to come back home. Oh, he can no one. He sees you. I'm back home. Oh, oh, I'm back. oh mama. Hey, I never believed you make it alive. I thought you were dead. Brother, maybe it's my destiny. Oh, thanks to the gods. Father. Father. I'm here. Stop. You're left. Father, I'm back. I came back with this time. You did? Oh, listen. Oh, oh thanks to the gods. <laughs> He came back with his staff. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, my good man, and that you will make it. I knew it. <laughs> he came back with his staff. Yes, my lord. You are a brave boy. I know that destiny has something to do with you. <laughs> Today, I give the gods of our land thanks. Please, <laughs> for you have done something for this land today. My good man, you are welcome. Mother. <coughs> hey! 
Ama temesu dumeje. Ama temesu dumeje. Odumeje. Oye no me dijo, pero me dijo a Cuba. All right, I am done for now. Let your son relax. He needs a well-deserved rest. Hmm? Okay, nine. And make sure you dispose of this thing. Thank you very much, Nine. Eh? You are welcome. Thank you. He needs a well-deserved rest. Okay. Hmm? All right, Nine. Okay. I'll be back. Leave me. Eh? Let the gods go with you. We have all waited with bated breath for this day. Today is the day we shall crown our prince, Prince Akubike, as the next king of our land. Today the crown prince will be declared as the Ibudu Eze Neze of Amezi, the fourth. Today, the heir apparent will sit on the throne of his fathers. But before that, we shall perform a special ritual as established by our forefathers to authenticate the wearer of the crown. I'm a queen. Yeah. I'm a queen. Yeah. I'm a queen. Yeah. I'm a queen. Yeah. Zone. Yeah. Mudane. Yeah. Queen zone. Hey. That ritual is known as the ritual of the great staff of honor. It shows who has right to bear it. And it's contained in this box. I, Ozobiwe, shall now open this box and take out the staff. <laughs> Once the staff is placed in the hands of Prince Akubike, he will become king of our land. <laughs>
Elders of Army is the kingdom. Something seriously is wrong somewhere. I said, what is it again? The staff. The staff refuses to believe them. Why is that? But why has the staff refused to believe this? It's only one reason for this. Only one reason. For the sake of certainty, I, Ozobiwe, will have to consult the gods. Why are you sitting here while your people are waiting for you? What are you talking about, mother? Get up. It is time to go home. Home? Yes. Home. The staff. You are the staff bearer. No one else in that kingdom can hold it. Apart from you, the staff is your destiny. You are the kingmaker. The kingmaker? Yes. The gods placed the mantle on you even when you were in your mother's womb. Is that why I saw it in my dream? Yes. And that was why you were the only one who could go to the land of the unknown to bring it back. The reason for all this is because Ameze kingdom, your father's land, is about to pass a new phase. For so many moons, so many wrongs were done in the land. The kingship was manipulated. And the wrong people mounted the sacred throne. Injustice was the order of the day. The reason the gods have chosen you is because you are a victim of injustice. A child rejected by her people. A child born and brought up in the evil forest. The gods have made you a special child. The gods have made you a special child. The one that has come to put an end to injustice. But mother, how did you know about all this? I mean, the gods and what they have for me, right from when I was still in my mother's womb. My destiny and all that. I am just a messenger of the gods. Blessed with the power and vision. With the power to see the future and beyond. 
It was my duty to lead you to the path of your destiny and make sure it is fulfilled. Your people are waiting for you. Time is running out. Get up. Once you hold the staff, you shall find the king. All right, mother. But how about you? Like I said, I am only but a messenger of the gods. I am not part of your destiny. Someone else is. Someone else like who? Someone like the young man you were so compassionate that you gave the staff to. He is your destiny. How? I don't understand, mother. My child, you do not need to understand. Time shall tell. Take this. What is this, mother? It is the staff of justice. Bury it in your father's land. And no evil shall go unpunished. But the way to my father's land. I don't know the way, mother. There is always a way. Follow your heart and you will get there. Remember, Ameza Kingdom is where you are headed. Get up. Time is running out. Proceed now. Mother! Mother! Thank you so much. Thank you, mother, for everything you have done for me. Obviously, there is a lot to know about this stuff. I never knew it requires a, a bearer. Yes, of course. It has always been so. Our family of priests have always been in charge of it. So why will Ozobi be proof of that one? I may not know, my good man. Maybe there is something we need to rectify. Mother. Yes. What is it? Nothing. I came to see your friend. Oh. You came to see me? Yes, old one. Oh. Do I still owe you a fight? Your son is back. I, I didn't come to fight you, old one. As a matter of fact, old one, I came to beg for your forgiveness. The way I spoke to you the other day was very rude. I shouldn't have spoken to you in that manner. But I'm sure you understand it was because my son's life was at stake. Seeing him go into that evil forest traumatized me. I, I almost lost my mind. Please, 
find a place in your heart to forgive me. Stand up, Olivia, stand up. I should stand up. Stand up okay. and sit down. Thank you, thank you, old one. Sit down. Thank you. Sit down. I don't think you owe me any apologies. What you owe, if there's anything you owe, is celebration. If you did not show such tremendous anger, your motherly affection for your son would have become questionable. Mother, I thought I told you that my decision has nothing to do with him. Yet you went to fight him. That's all right, my good man. <laughs> she did what every good mother in such situation should do. She knows I am your confidant. It's all right. Ndi mata kwa wala, ndi mwa pota kwa no no bo. Je wele ni ni chi. Oro bo da tu go, ndi ndi ke chi. Je wele ni ni chi. Isi mu kwa wa. I know this life is something I don't really understand. My tears are bad, I get hurry, I fall for I know the sun will shine, the rain will wash my tears away. Ndi mata kwa wala, ndi mwa pota kwa kwa no no bo, ye were ni ni chi, oro bo da nu bo, ndi ndi ke chi, ye were ni ni chi, isi mu kwa wa, kwa ga na bi mi kwa. Obala, the great goddess of our waters. I have come to you again for self-cleansing. The great staff of honor has refused to be lifted by my hands. I do not know if I have smeared myself with the field of wrongdoing. Great goddess. My people rely on me to get the rituals done and to make them a new king. As I bat myself in this river, I beseech thee, Ubala, great goddess of our kingdom, of our waters, I beseech thee to accept my sacrifice and purify me, make me worthy to bear the staff of honor.
What exactly is wrong with this rich man? Or does it mean I am not the true bearer of this stuff? Please, wise one, don't insinuate that. If not you, in this kingdom, who else is qualified to bear this stuff? Who oh, knows? We know! Please, try it again. People of Anesi, I greet you all. Who are you? Hmm? You will know me when the time is right. For now, let's focus on the Paramount team. Shall we? Ta! Ta! Do not lay your filthy maiden hands on the staff. Are you out of your mind? Eh? If you refuse me to lay my hands on this staff, then be rest assured that this land will remain without a king. <laughs> Who are you, by the way? Who sent you here? Or oh. are you the true bearer of this staff? Huh? Why don't you give me a chance to prove that? <laughs> Go on your knees. You are not the king. That is not possible. That is impossible. I am the only son of the late king of this land. And the heir am I to the throne. And every one of us here knows about it. Yes. If you are the heir apparent to the throne, then why does the staff refuse to stay in your hands? Um, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll try again. There is nothing to try. You are not the king, period. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, who's the word in Who are you? Where did you come from? Um... There is something you said earlier. You said that if your hand does not hold this staff, then our land will remain without king. Are you from this land? Yes, I am from this land. Then if you are from this land, from which household or family are you from? I don't know. But maybe you will have to tell me that later. Here is my story. Once upon a time, one of the maids in the real house was defied and impregnated by the so-called prince of this land. And she was falsely accused of a breach in the traditional observations laid out for the maidens of this land. And then she was scheduled to be banished into the forest of Evo to die with her unborn child. But fortunately, she gave birth to me and she died. The gods of the forest took care of me. They fed me. They nurtured me and destined me for greatness. This land has been desecrated by the fields of wickedness and injustice, just like what happened to the woman that gave birth to me. The kingship has been manipulated unjustly, and the wrong people sit on the throne. And that's why the gods are angry. But I, Machi, the great daughter of the gods, has been sent to redeem this land. 
and to save them from the impending doom. Now, let all men get prepared. It is time to search for the king. Mother, you are still awake. Yes, son. I have not been able to sleep. I think the revelation is true. That is not possible. I am the son of the king. Or is there anything you are not telling me? I think so. I, I have something to say, son. I have a confession to make. What confession? You are not the true son of the late king. Mother, that is not possible. It's awesome. I couldn't get myself to tell you. Uh, yeah. I uh, decided to keep it to myself. I know it is very hard to believe my son. After so many years. already be talking to a man. But I noticed that the king always had an eye on me. He was the prince of the land then. And I had only always had this hot desire to become one of the royal figures. Oh, I now seduced the king and made him sleep with me. I was already pregnant for my betrothed man, but I had to accuse the king with a pregnancy and he accepted without any qualms. Mother. What rubbish are you telling me? I have waited for this particular day all my life. And now you are telling me this. I'm so sorry, son. I couldn't get myself to tell you. I thought I could keep it to myself. And why are you telling me now? I don't hold it anymore. Can't you see? Everything is just cut into light. So, so please. Girl 
will chase her mother out of this palace. A child will reject it. I understand. Can't you see? But she's, she's still a girl. And she's been lost for a long time. Now she's back to her father's land. She has nobody. She needs a family. Can't you see how she commands authority? She even said she is the daughter of the gods. That means she has been bestowed with some kind of powers that will make her do whatever she wants to do and make it happen. That means she's your daughter. She can make you the king. We are here, Elder Solomon. Machi. The people of Amaze Kingdom appreciate you so much. And because of that, we have provided this place for you to live in. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. This is your place to live. You don't have to do this. I can build myself a hut. Mm, 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 mm. We know your capacities, your abilities, Machi. But we also want you to know that you are a figure of great respectability in this kingdom. Mm? And, and, and because of that, we know you must you must be treated as a very important personality machi mm -hmm. this is your new place make yourself at home in it make yourself welcome in it eh? go ahead and take possession of your place mm -hmm. go thank you so much all around my one. Oh, go, go. <laughs> go. Greetings, my priestess. I came to see you for something very important to me. Don't worry. I already know what you came for. It is about the story. You are probably here to own up to it now, right? You are here to tell me that you are sorry for everything that happened, that you are my father, and that you are ready to make up for it. Well, understandably, I came from a woman who you impregnated. And that makes us have some kind of blood connection. 
but the truth here is, there is still something refusing to bring you and I together. You pushed me away when I was still in my mother's womb, and I have lived a life of my own right from when I was born. I grew up hearing ugly stories about you, so it's never a pleasure having you back in my life as my father. I don't need you. As a matter of fact, what I see in you is not remorse or guilt. What I see in you is desperation. You desperately want to be the king, and you think you can come here and make up with me. Then, I will simply make you the king. Listen and let me make this clear to you. The staff of kingship refusing your hands wasn't my doing. So don't start feeling like it's some sort of revenge from me over what you did. The staff of kingship rejected your hand because you're not the true king. I don't know why, and I don't know the true story about you. So if you're coming here today is specifically about the kingship, you better be careful with what you're doing because justice has returned to this land. Greetings to you, my good people of Amazing. Once again, we have come to perform the ritual for the kingship. As you proceed to leave this staff, whosoever this staff decides to stay in his hand becomes the king of this land. Now, let's proceed. What's up, you? Over to you. Um, uh, that is the no. Oh no, we agree. We'll see. Um. You don't even deserve to be here. You are dead. Ah, uh, the key be. Go. We are missing someone here. And who could that be? The person that brought back this star. Where is he? That would be Ikenna. Yes. The young man who brought back the staff of honor from the forest is lying critically ill at home. As a matter of fact, he's dying. 
Et Kenna Yes. Greetings to this house. Greetings, great sisters. Welcome to our home. You? What are you doing here? This is my father's land. I have been here for a while. Nobody told me that. You are sick. Your life is more important to you than me. You are right. It, it's not the stuff you are telling. Yes. I am the true girl of the stuff. But I am not happy because I have not been able to make the king. Everyone I try failed. You have to keep trying. Keep trying. Please help me out. As I proceed to place this staff in your hands, mm. if it agrees to stay in your hand, then you shall be the crown king of Amelie's kingdom. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, take it. At least, at least try. Mm? Try. People of Amazing, hmm? we now have a king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All had a king.
Machi said there's nothing she could do about it. It's unbelievable. So by this time next week, I will no longer be addressed as the future king of this land. So this Harriet is going to leave our family. It doesn't mean I'm no longer going to be a future queen. My dreams have been shattered. No, you'll still be his wife. Mother, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Please take things easy. This is not the end of the world. Okay? It's okay. Mona, where do I go from here? Let's see what happens. So there will be no sign of royalty in our lineage anymore. Oh, this is too much to handle. This is just too much. No. I know. I know somewhere. is permanent. Nobody has the right to question the gods. For now, your services are no longer needed. I advise that tomorrow, you pack your things and go back to your parents. All is well that ends well. Show you all that Amen's a kingdom will be great with you. Great priestess of our land. Greetings to you, sir. My king, please come with me. So, to what do I owe this honor? Uh, I came to discuss something with you. Um, what is it? Uh, actually, I was in a dream last night. I saw a very beautiful bird flying all around me. I tried to catch the bird, but I couldn't. Then I heard a voice telling me that I must not stop. I tried harder. But unfortunately, the bird flew away. When I woke up from the dream, I was told that the beautiful bird I saw was the woman after my heart. And the only way for me to know who the woman is, is to search deep into my heart. I had to search deep into my heart. And the only woman I saw was you. That's why I'm here. I want you to marry me. Please, 
I want us to come together and rule this kingdom. Please, will you be my wife? Marry me.